Welcome back to Modern Geometry. Today, we are going to show the equivalence of Euclid's fifth postulate and Playfair's version. It is important to recall Euclid's definitions, postulates, and the first 30 propositions that can be found in Euclid's first book. Specifically, two propositions from Book 1 will be used for the proof of the equivalence of Euclid's fifth postulate and Playfair's version. These two propositions must be within the bounds of absolute geometry. In this geometry, neither the fifth postulate nor any of its alternatives is taken as an axiom. In fact, the first 28 propositions of the first book belong to absolute geometry. Hence, we can use any of these 28 propositions to prove the equivalence of the fifth postulate and Playfair's version. Let us recall the fifth postulate. It states if a transversal falls on two lines in such a way that the interior angles of one side of the transversal are less than two right angles, then the lines meet on that side on which the angles are less than two right angles. We will show its equivalence to Playfair's version, which states that Through a point not on a given line, exactly one line can be drawn in the plane parallel to the given line. To show the equivalence, we need to show that Euclid's fifth postulate implies Playfair's axiom, and Playfair's axiom implies Euclid's fifth postulate. Let's begin the first part of the proof. Prove Playfair's axiom by using Euclid's fifth postulate as our premise. We will use this illustration in the proof. We have a line PQ intersecting line M and line L at two different points, hence forming angles beta alpha alpha prime and beta prime. We will use Euclid's 27th proposition. It states, if a straight line falling on two straight lines makes the alternate angles equal to one another, the straight lines will be parallel to one another. By this proposition, if alpha is equal to beta is equal to 90 degrees, then the lines are parallel. Note that if alpha is equal to 90 degrees and uh, beta is also equal to 90 degrees, this will make beta prime to be equal to 90 degrees as well. Hence, alpha is equal to beta prime, and this will make the alternate interior angles congruent. So by the 27th proposition, we say that line M and line L are parallel. Now, let us use Euclid's fifth postulate. If alpha plus beta is less than 180 degrees, then line L and line M meet to the right. On the other hand, if alpha prime plus beta prime is less than 180 degrees, then line L and line M meet to the left. Then line M, a line through point P, is parallel to line L if and only if alpha plus beta is equal to 180 degrees. So this is a unique case when the lines become parallel. Clearly, we have proven Playfair's axiom. Let us now proceed to the second part of the proof where we use Playfair's axiom to show Euclid's fifth postulate. In this proof, we will use the 17th proposition in Book 1. It states, in any triangle, two angles taken together in any manner are less than two right angles. It means that when you add the measures of two angles of any triangle, then the sum must be less than 180 degrees. Based on Playfair's axiom, there is a unique line through P that is parallel to line L. By Euclid's 27th proposition, if alpha is equal to beta prime, the alternate interior angles, then line M and line L are parallel. So this must be the case that the lines are parallel. Thus, alpha plus beta is equal to 180 degrees. If alpha plus beta is less than 180 degrees, then line L and line M are not parallel. Now the question is, where is the point of intersection if these lines are not parallel? 
If line L and line M intersect to the left, say, let us call this point of intersection as point R, then we can form a triangle, and this is triangle PQR. Triangle PQR has two of its angles, alpha prime and beta prime, and alpha prime plus beta prime is greater than 180 degrees. This is a contradiction of the 17th proposition. So line L and line M cannot meet to the left. Since the lines are not parallel, then they must meet to the right. This is where the sum of the two angles, alpha plus beta, is less than two right angles. Clearly, this proves Euclid's fifth postulate. Remember that in this proof, we first showed that the lines are not parallel, and then we showed that the intersection must be on the side where the two angles are less than two right angles. We have shown that Euclid's fifth postulate implies Playfair's axiom, and Playfair's axiom implies Euclid's fifth postulate. Therefore, Playfair's axiom is equivalent to Euclid's fifth postulate. And we are done with the proof. Thank you.